remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Chicago's new mayor, Lori Lightfoot, is tackling the Jesse Smollett controversy head on just one day after being elected into office and she isn't letting the Cook County State's attorney off the hook for dropping the 16 count felony charges against the Empire actor. Lightfoot, who made history as the first black woman and the first openly gay woman elected to office as mayor in the third largest U.S. city, expects the state's top prosecutor, Kim Fox, to provide a full explanation that offers more insight into her decision to suspend prosecuting Smollett in an alleged fake hate crime attack. The state's attorney's office here, which made the decision unilaterally to drop the charges, has to give a much more fulsome explanation, Lightfoot said during an interview with Craig Melvin on MSNBC Wednesday. We cannot create the perception that if you're rich or famous or both, you got one set of justice and for everybody else, it's something much harsher. That won't do and we need to make sure that we have a criminal justice system that has integrity. The mayor-elect hesitated when asked if she thought Jesse Smollett was innocent, but added, the evidence against him is compelling. I believe everybody is entitled to the presumption of innocence, she said. But I saw, as I'm sure you and your listeners saw, a very compelling case with videotapes, witness statement, and other information that looked like he had staged a hoax. And if that happened, he's got to be held accountable. I don't believe her. You know why? Because Chicago has a long sordid history of corruption all through law enforcement, the judicial system, the mayor's office, the commissioner's office, the alderman's office, the principal's office, the janitor's office, you name it. Chicago is corrupt. I don't believe she's going to change anything. I think this is a dog and pony show. I think that she's trying to gain favor, trying to get some brownie points. I do believe this is one of the many sellouts that she is going to perpetuate against the black people of Chicago. I think Chicago just got hoodwinked. She is not going to be a good mayor for that city. Here's why. What Jesse Smollett did was wrong. But it doesn't constitute spending millions of dollars, millions of taxpayers' dollars to prosecute someone who was involved in a victimless crime. If there is any victim, it was him. He had to punch himself. Or he had to get some guys to punch him. He embarrassed the hell out of himself. The dude got fired from the hottest show on television. In fact, he took the whole show down with him. The empire crumbled because of Jesse Smollett. The dude has been publicly humiliated. He's paid a $10,000 fine that he actually forfeited when he posted bail. He gave it to the city. He said, all right, y'all gonna let me go? All right, I'll let y'all have the 10,000 in good faith. I'm good, it's over. When the public outcry came, and it wasn't really the people. It was more so them people. They didn't like that. They did not like a black state's attorney using her power to give a black man a break. 
This is a whack crime family. This is a punk crime. This ain't nothing. But they're making it out of something. Because number one, it's a black man. Number two, he is famous. If Jesse Smollett was Tyrone Smollett, we wouldn't be here. We would not be having this conversation. It would have been over. But because it's a big case, it's highlighted. It's in the media. It's international news. People are trying to get stripes. They're trying to get their name associated to the case. They're trying to put their name in Wikipedia, in the newspaper, on the blogs, in the history books. That's all it is, baby. And I think the Chicago people should make sure that they make Lori Lightfoot a one-term mayor. I don't even know nothing about her. And this, just her making a move like this tells me all I need to know. She don't even have to, she already, she's already married. She don't even have to come in there doing all of that. She's already married. She's already doing too much. Trying to show Massa that she's ready to work. She's ready to put those blacks in their place. That's her job. That's going to be her position. I wonder what the gay community thinks of all of this. Because I really have not seen the gay community speak on this collectively. I've seen some gay people speak on it. But I'm saying the whole LGBTQ plus community, where are they? Nowhere to be found. They have not collectively spoken on this. I wonder whose side they're going to take. We got a black gay female mayor going out of her way to take down a black gay male actor. Talk about drama. Oh man, this is going to be messy. Buckle up, kinfolk. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?